what's up guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i'll be doing a how-to video for you guys so today i'll be showing you guys how to create your youtube banner like you can see on so many other channels they have their banner with their basic information and tags or socials so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i created mine using pixart and you can follow along to create yours as well so first thing you want to do is you want to look for your background you can use google chrome for this and be sure to save it to your phone or screenshot it and crop it and make sure that there's no extras to your background and you want to save as much options as you can next i went in my pixar app and then i clicked on the plus sign to be able to add my background now i'm using the tool the crop tool and i'm using that to resize my background now i'm just moving it around just so i can select the better part of the background that i like next i am going into the sticker section these that you see are some stickers that i had made for previous thumbnails and for other video content so now i'm just going to be going to look for like a gold circle because this is what i want for my centerpiece for my banner now they have so many options on this site this is my go-to site to create my my logos my thumbnails i use this site to help with everything so if you want any other detailed videos let me know and i will do that for you guys so I'm just going through all of the options that they have and I'm just picking out the ones that I see that I would kind of like and then I'm putting them down as options for later. So as you can see here, they have so many options and the beauty about this app is it's available on both Androids and Apple phones. So you can download this to make all of your content and to give that little touch to your channel. As you can see here, I'm going in between the circles that I thought that I would like. And I'm just going through them back and forth with the background to see if it is something that I would go for. So my theme is kind of like a Greek goddess look. So I'm going with the, the green velvet texture. And I wanted something that would match my, my Greek look, but not something so out there i want it to be simple and nice so that is why i'm keep going in between the different designs and i just kind of want to go through their options i want you guys to see all the options that they have available they have so many options so i saw this leaf circle and it goes with my theme and i love the simplicity of it but the way that it stand out to me so i decided to use this one instead of the others that i had set aside so now that I have my first part of my logo complete, I'm going to go into my font. So I'm using this font and I went into my pictures and I had a, a gold foil image that I saved from one of my last videos. So I'm going to use that to change the color or the texture of my font. I'm just resizing it and placing it into the position that I want and i'm going to do the next font now i just want to go into their font options that they have i already know the font that i'm going to use but i just wanted to show you guys the different options that they have and i'm pretty sure there's something there for everyone Now we're going to get into our socials. If you want to link your socials to your banner, you can just go back to click sticker and type in Instagram. Now my aesthetic, if you want to say that, is green and gold. So I decided to go with a gold Instagram logo and write my Instagram handle there. So if you guys ever want to find me or follow me, that will be my Instagram social after typing out my social i just went back into photos again and then i select that gold foil background that i have just to add that texture to my wording and then i just resize and adjust my my placement 
so next thing that i am adding to my banner is my posting schedule um my schedule is up and down so what i'm just going to be putting here just for safety is that i post videos every week so you guys would know that every week i post content so now i'm just going through my placement i'm trying to see where i would want it to fit and be i didn't want it to look overcrowded so i end up went with putting it to the bottom section of my banner if you're liking how your banner is looking so far you can click that arrow and save it to your your phone in your camera roll or your photo section do not apply if you apply you cannot make any corrections to your logo if you apply apply means that you are satisfied with your logo your banner and you don't want to make any more changes so you don't want to do that if you want to save options click that arrow to save as many options as you want to your camera roll as you can see like i did here now i'm going back into my sticker section and i am looking for a youtube logo that i like the yellow subscriber tab just wasn't it wasn't giving me what i want so i went back through and i just scrolled through their many options and found something that i really liked now i'm just selecting a few to test them against my background to see if i would like how they would look and I'm just showing you guys some of the options that I chose or went through. So I saw this nice one right here. And it matches the gold foil on my wording, my, my leaf circle. So I decided to go with this one. And I typed in my subscribe using the font that I'm using for my background. And I went and select that foil background again. Saving different backgrounds will always help you in the long run. Just to give your your logo your thumbnail some uniqueness so next i'm just going to be resizing my font and my logo just to make sure it's not too big and it's not too small next i had the bright idea of adding logos or symbols of what my channel is about to my banner so i decided to look for something that represents makeup now some of these stickers are for exclusive for the the app itself as you can see with those crowns so i think you have to have paid something for to be able to use those stickers so i decided to go with a eyeliner swoop which represents me doing makeup now for doing art i decided to go with a paintbrush i wanted a gold paintbrush because i wanted everything to go in cohesive with each other but um as i went on i realized that i kept choosing things between gold and pink gold and pink so i decided to make that a little bit of a theme if that makes any sense so i went with the gold eyeliner and then the pink brush now my next now i'm just going in to resize everything and you can zoom into your photo just to make sure that your logo or your images aren't too small and you can adjust them to put them closer together or further apart as you can see that i did here and it makes it so much easier to adjust or detail smaller things so next i'm going in after doing my makeup and my art logo i'm going in with something to do with exercise or weight loss as some of you know i'm on my weight loss journey so i decided to go in to do something that would symbolize that so i just went through typing in a bunch of different options in the sticker section i typed in weight loss dumbbell scale just something to that you know that would go towards that theme that would help you to find it what it is that you're looking for some of their stickers are like this it's not fully um, on a transparent background so you would want to not use those unless you are using a white background so I'm just scrolling through to see all of the options and 
see if I can find something that I would like. I really liked this, but it was so big. I could not use it for what I wanted to use for. So I decided to look to see if I can find any scale that was gold. And I found this one. So I decided to use this one instead of the other, which I really wish I could have used. But this one served its purpose and I decided to go with this one. So next I went in to look for something that symbolized me doing hair tutorials, which is a hairbrush or a comb. So I wanted to look for something that was gold as well. But then I realized that I kept doing the whole uh, gold and pink. So I decided to look for something pink and that comb right there that butterfly comb it stand out to me so i decided to go with it then i used that angle tool and turn it to the side that i would want it to and then i just readjusted and dragged it to place it along with the others now those blue lines they help you to let you know that everything is in line with each other and they are not out of ratio or out of scale so all of my logos are one size next i'll be going in with looking for something that represents vlogging um, i haven't done vlogging that much yet i'm still getting my way around it and trying to get more comfortable with using the camera so um, I'm getting this camera logo I find it very unique and it stands out to me so I'm gonna be using that to represent that vlogging whenever we travel or do something out of the way that is what that's gonna be for now my gold knife or oh, my gold knife and fork this represents my cooking videos that I do so if you haven't seen none of my videos or none of these videos that matches up to my logos that I'm doing here check out my playlist I have videos on every content that I do on my channel so be sure to check them out so next I'm gonna be adding fun just to make sure that I'm clear with what these logos or what these symbols represents on my channel on my banner so I'm just putting in these details here just to let everyone know what they mean so it is makeup art weight loss protective styling or hair styling vlogs and cooking video content i also do hauls but i'm not gonna put any logo or wording for that as it, i don't want it to become overcrowded these are just special details that i wanted to add to my banner um i change my banner every now and then i had a previous banner um but what you can do is you can look at youtube channels that you are inspired by and you can check out their banner to see what they do or what they have written in their banner or what they put in their banner and you can use that as a template to form your own banner if you make any new changes and it's something that you like and you want to keep or just save for later, make sure to save that image just so that you have it just to look against others that you've made before, just to give yourself options and varieties to choose from. Now, for this section, I'm going to be using a larger size image to place at the background of my logo image when I go to upload it on my computer. YouTube wants you to have a specific amount of pixel art sizing for when you upload your banner. So what you can see is that I saved that background to my camera roll and I add it to my PixArt app. Now I'm changing the size of the image to make sure that it goes with YouTube standard. And in that image, I'm gonna be adding my logo or my banner that I like, and I'm just sizing it. And make sure to put it in the middle of that background or just a little bit up. So when you add it to your computer and you upload it to YouTube, you have a good amount of space to readjust as you'll see soon in the next clip. So here I've uploaded it to my YouTube and as you can see here, they have different sections for TV, desktop and all devices. So you wanted to make sure that your image in is the 
section where it says all devices so as you can see here the background ended up being shown as on the computer because the computer image will be bigger but on my phone this is how it looks and that is how you create your youtube banner using pixart let me know what you guys think in the comment section below please give this video a big thumbs up this video took me over an hour to create for you guys because i wanted to make sure i was detailed and show you guys everything so thank you guys again for watching and if you guys want any other helpful youtube tips that you have seen me done on any of my videos let me know in the comment section below and i would love to help you guys with that and thank you guys so much for watching please hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video bye